Hey, in this video, we want to settle this calcium phosphate parathyroid hormone, all this mess. It's a bit hard to understand why certain tissues want to keep calcium and some places want to keep phosphate, but some places want to remove phosphate from the blood. So with this mental framework, hopefully everything makes sense and uh, you will understand this mess a little bit better. So let's get it started. First, what is the main player, the main character, the Harry Potter, is the parathyroid hormone. The parathyroid hormone wants to increase the calcium concentration in the serum blood. Okay? So that's what the parathyroid hormone wants to do. Best place to accomplish that main objective is the bone. Hey bone, please you know, chew itself up, release your minerals. Bone is the place that stores like 99% of the calcium in the body. So calcium spills out, calcium goes to the blood. That's great. But another thing that spills out of the bone is the phosphate. Hmm. Because phosphate is also a lot of phosphate, like 85% is stored in the bone, this one spills out of and gets to the bloodstream as well. That's probably not something that parathyroid hormone wanted to do. So the net effect, calcium, phosphate, at this point is calcium is increasing in the serum, great. Phosphate also increasing the serum. That is a net effect. Well, that's something <clears throat> we didn't want to do, so let's fix that, says the main player, parathyroid hormone. And the best place to do that fix is the kidneys. So the parathyroid hormone will tell the kidneys, which is the organ who controls what goes out of the body. Kidney will take up, keep a lot of things that you don't want to lose in your body. For example, you don't want to lose sodium and other minerals. So kidney will reabsorb these things, right? So the parathyroid hormone will tell the kidney to do two things. One, its main objective. So kidney will reabsorb more calcium, increasing the calcium concentration in the blood. That's great. But we also have to do this fixing and the kidney will now reabsorb less phosphate resulting in more phosphate spilling out into the urine. And now that is going to decrease minus another minus, so two minus, decrease the phosphate level from the blood. So up to this point, we have uh, two plus calcium. Calcium is spilling into the blood from the bone, the main place, and also being reabsorbed a lot in the kidney. So two plus. Um, phosphate spilled out into the blood in this bone resorption phase, which is not something we wanted. So the parathyroid hormone will tell the kidney to dump out more phosphate, so negative, negative. Up to this point, it's one negative for phosphate concentration. That's good, what we wanted to do, uh-oh, the tangent swang more on the other side, it's more negative now in the phosphate. So let's fix that, so how do we do it? Well, where's another place that can control all of this mineral concentration and all that? It is the uh, GI, right? Your GI system, because your food will go to the GI and GI will decide what to absorb and what to just not do anything so that it becomes poop. So how do you control the GI? Well, the kidney will release or mm, activate vitamin D and this vitamin D will go to the GI to tell the GI to do two things. Again, the first is to increase the calcium absorption from the food and this calcium will go to the blood that's why they get this plus. Great. In addition, you see how the tangent swing a little bit too much on the negative side of phosphate. So we have to now increase the phosphate to kind of balance it out. In addition to calcium absorption increasing, you also increase the phosphate absorption from the food. And this goes to the blood and you have a plus. So the net effect is you have a three plus from bone resorption reabsorption of a lot of the calcium and absorption of the calcium from the food but the phosphate you have 
a little bit of increase that we didn't want from the bone that's balanced out a little bit too much by the kidney getting rid of the phosphate so here you have negative one but then you have a vitamin d telling the gi tract to absorb more phosphate from the food resulting in the positive so net effect is near zero but of course it depends on a lot of things right here it depends on the food source depends on your kidney function all that we don't want to get into it but overall the main player accomplished its goal of increasing the calcium concentration and it's struggling but mm, balanced out somehow the phosphate level to not change too much overall in the blood so that's it hopefully uh, this whole thing made a little bit of more sense you don't have to memorize what organ is doing what just think about like a story right you have the main player it's harry potter wants to increase calcium concentration it goes to the best place to do it happens oopsies the next place the main objective happens balance out the first oopsie a little bit too much so you get extra player to help you like snape to help you uh, balance out this oopsie and also accomplish the main objective overall calcium goes up great phosphate balances out somehow mm, okay so that's the uh, big picture hopefully you like this video and if you liked it please subscribe and leave some comments below how i can make the video better if i'm getting anything wrong let me know um hope you enjoy the show see you in the next video